60 Cycle Hum's coverage of Winter NAM 2020 is brought to you by Coast Sonic, Line 6, Harmony Guitars, D'Addario Strings, Rev Amplifiers, and Singular Sound. Watching 60 Cycle Hum, you already know that. Already, you already know what I'm doing. You know I'm here at Winter Nam 2020. Obviously, I'm at the Harmony booth. I'm playing their brand new prototype, the Comet. Comet prototype number one. It says it handwritten on the back. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm I'm kind of in love with it. I mean, that's not really a surprise, right? I've uh, I've really loved everything Harmony's been putting out. They just have this excellent build quality. They feel fantastic. Uh, the build of these things, of all the Harmony guitars, reminds me of guitars I own that are in the low 2,000 price range. But these are in the low 1,000 price range. I think they're like $1,200. I love my silhouette. I own a silhouette. Let's talk about this new thing before I gush too much. We're in the gush zone. Caution. Put on, <laughs> put on your rain jacket. It's the gush zone. Uh, this is the Comet prototype. Um, they also have a blue one. This is a sunbursty one with white binding and gold foil pickups. They're classic cupcake knobs, six in line headstock. Locking tuners. Uh, it's got a center block that ends right about there. And so you have hollow chambering all the way around the perimeter of the guitar. It has a nice resonant, almost full hollow feel to it. I can feel it resonating against my rib cage, against my diaphragm. I can feel it resonating on my leg bone. Like this guitar really moves. It's light, airy feeling. Fluttery. It also gives you some great big, like bold, high character tones. I think that's something I love about my silhouette and uh, just the other harmony guitars, this one included. The pickups just have this really sweet character tone. that like you can really feel the character of the pickup that's been the bridge here's the neck excited for this one because it's got a tunematic tailpiece bridge, which means I could potentially put a Bixby on one of these <laughs> and get my wiggle stick on. Uh, I think it would look really sharp with the Bixby on here. But it's just fine how it is, too. Uh, something really interesting. Uh, I don't know if it'll carry through to the production models. Hopefully there's production models of these. But on these prototypes, this one and the blue one that's here, um, in the center position seems to be out of phase for some like out of phase sounds. Here is the bridge position. 
Here is that middle position. <laughs> I don't typically use a middle position when I'm playing and the option to have an out of phase is just like a quirky extra thing. Really unique uh, design decision there. Discuss it down in the comments for sure. Um, let's try some different sounds with this. I've been doing a Voxy with a Bucket Brigade delay sort of thing. Here's a deluxe matchless. I mean, a deluxe reverb match patch that I put together. Crunch channel. I really like the body size. It's not huge. It's not like a full size ES335 style thing. It's uh, pretty much the size of their uh, their uh, their solid body rebel, but in a semi hollow format, very comfortable for someone like me who's used to playing solid body guitars. Uh, it doesn't feel like I'm holding a big old acoustic thing. I'm getting carried away, guys. I'm losing track of time. I'm getting sucked into a time warp. I just started, I've been, I'm zoning out is the problem and I'm forgetting that I'm recording a video. think tell me in the comments this thing is just super light too really like featherweight very comfortable to play I like that the shape is kind of its own thing it's not a full reference of anything else maybe it is a reference to a previous harmony model that I'm not aware of I'm not a harmony historian um, I'm gonna do a little rant now let's rant about stuff there are people who talk about the new harmony guitars and they don't really get what's going on because the original runs of Harmony guitars were student models. They were, uh, you know, like, like uh, department store guitars. And you can still get them, those original ones, for fairly inexpensive. Hundreds of dollars versus the $1,200 that this is probably going to cost. I'm just going to say, like, it's $1,200. Like I said earlier, this plays just as good as any of the guitars I own that are above $2,000. They're made in the Heritage Factory in the USA. Nitro finishes. Really wonderful sounding pickups. They have gold foil covers on them, but uh, these are humbuckers. Um, I don't know what makes them so kind of like high character and high personality. But this thing's just a bunch of fun.
If you get a chance to try a harmony guitar, one of these new harmony guitars, I suggest you do it. I just think they're so charming. And they're so fun and easy to play. This stuff should be fun. Guitar should be fun. It's called playing guitar. And if your guitar is not fun, then that's not playing, right? I'm having fun playing this. Let's, uh, let's do some more sounds. Here's all the way clean. Surfy, of course. Tweed sound. Bass sound does really well with the fuzz. Let's get out of here with some ambient stuff.
I really like this guitar. I hope that uh, that shows through with my playing. I hope this makes it out of prototype mode and into full production mode because it's really cool. I love the feel of it. I love the sound of it. It's got that new harmony sound with those high character pickups that just work with a bunch of different applications. None of this, I thought, didn't work with it. It's really cool. Okay, let's get out of the gush zone and uh, go do other stuff. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, just like, leave me a rude nasty comment, support us on Patreon, buy a shirt like this. Um, support the sponsors by clicking the links down below. They make all this NAM coverage possible, especially, you know, Harmony. Harmony is a sponsor. Uh, we've picked them as much as they picked us. We fell in love with the brand uh, Winter NAM 2018, and we introduced ourselves to them and have been talking ever since, and they've been, uh, they've been willing participants in <laughs> the hard media coverage of NAM and have uh, helped sponsor us and help us do a lot of stuff. But, man, I'm just smitten with their guitars. I, ch I really... We really chose them as much as they chose us, like I said, because we are such big fans of what they're doing. All right. Bye, everyone. Stay grounded.